So here we are then once again with uh, Critter Captain 2021 and part four of the Road to World Number One with England. Today we continue the Test Match series against India at uh, Edgebaston this time, the second Test Match. If you didn't catch the last episode, go and check it out. It was a great, great uh, match for us. And we did, in fact, beat India by an innings and 13 runs, scoring 544 in that first inning. Zach Crawley with a brilliant 193. Joss Butler with a, a, a brilliant 135. Lots of players making a start, not quite finishing it off. India's first innings uh, was torn apart by James Anderson. Five for 53, one for Curran, one for Stokes, and three for Jack Leach before their second innings where Jack Leach uh, turned the ball very nicely. He got four wickets for 83. Three for Sam Curran as well, continuing his very good summer so far in an England, in, in an England shirt. Uh, two test matches, 13, uh, 13 wickets, 205 runs conceded and at an average of 15.77. He certainly looks like he is an undroppable member of the side right now so let's uh, head into the england squad for the second test match we'll have a little look at the squad of course we had parkinson in the match day squad he, he didn't make it in over leach i think we will give him a try possibly later on in the series we'll see how it develops i would like to have a look at him potentially for the ashes uh over jack leach uh but we'll just have to see stuart broad didn't have a great match uh, in the first innings against, or in the in the first match against India, no wickets uh, in 26 overs. So potentially we bring in Jofra Archer into that one. Um, maybe it was this one, was it? Yes, this one. I, I suppose that one must be the the series in India. Uh, not entirely sure. We've got this one here, and yes, so Stuart Broad zero for. 24 overs uh, so I think Jofra Archer bring him in it gives us a little bit more depth batting wise so let's give him a, a little bit of extra ball and practice of course Jimmy Anderson and Jack Leach as well Sam Curran probably uh, just to make sure they are still in the groove uh, Ben Stokes give him a bit of extra batting practice Joe Root uh, Rory Burns and Dom Sibley and uh, that sorts us out our catching hasn't been fantastic let's give some uh Keeping practice to, to Joss Butler will also give um, Zach Crawley some practice as well. Uh, catching or keeping any physio sessions needed. Probably Dom Sibley could do with some extra physio. Maybe Joss Butler as well. Actually, Joffre Archer certainly looks like he needs a bit of physio work, considering he's going to be steaming in from both ends trying to get wickets. So here we go then. Let's play... The second test match, Stu Broad is going to be missing out. Joffre Archer is going to replace him. But other than that, we're going to go with an unchanged lineup from the first test match. So here we go. Let's have a little look at the conditions. Of course, you should do that before you pick your side. But it is looking like an okay pitch. A little bit cloudy on day one. So maybe if we could uh, grab the ball, if we get the option. And we do have the option. So we could bat first. I think we want to stamp our authority on the match and bowl first. So let's let's go with that and see how we get on. So move that to low. We've got James Anderson and uh, Joffre Archer steaming in for us at the start of this second test match. I'm sure India may well have elected to bat first themselves. So we've probably both got what we want. And there you go. Anderson gets the first wicket. Sharma gone for 17. And now India. One down for 26. Anderson coming into Gill now. Excellent delivery. That's going to be out. That is going to be out. And India now two down for 29. Excellent br delivery from James Anderson. Right in line. That's his second wicket of the innings already. And he is looking strong. And he has Archer now into Pajara. He's gone. 35 for three. An excellent decision to bowl first. You would think he has Anderson in Agerval. Not quite that time. Archer into Virat. Again, not quite. So could those be some key moments in the match? Well, we had them close, but no cigar. Curran into Coley. He's trying to get the bat out of the way. Not quite. Curran into Agerval. What's the batsman thinking of? 
Yeah, not quite. Curran into Coley again. Struck him in oh, line. It's pitched well, outside leg, unfortunately. Out. Good decision, I think, from here. Yeah. Good delivery, though. Who Curran definitely really? dangerous, just not quite getting the rewards at the moment. Lunch interval day one, then 103 for three, so India have definitely recovered the situation. We're going to give Jack Leach a bit of a ball after lunch. Beautiful ball. He is in good form, so you would expect that he will get a couple of wickets here and there. Oh. Curran gets his first wicket. Egeval gone for 58, and uh, that is exactly what we wanted to see. Um, Curran now off the mark, and Anderson now going to come back into the attack with Jack Leach. Anderson into Corley, that's high in the air, and it's caught point. brilliantly from Ben Stokes. Corley gone for 74. The big fish, you would have to say, and if we can keep India under 300, I would say that's Pant a success. Good a catch. Ball, Pant gone for 55. Anderson with another uh, wicket here. And he's looking really, really good. Four wickets for, for Jimmy Anderson once again. And at the age of 39, he is really Absolute. a top quality bowler still. Nicely and there's Leachy's first wicket. Rahani gone for 18. And you're now seven down. But this is where you have to take advantage. You've got them on the back foot. Quite. Yeah. Bring Archer in. Leach is still going. He's been going since lunch. He's bowled reasonably well, reasonably tight. New ball is available. We'll leave it a couple of overs. Ashwin gone. Great catch from Sibley. Ashwin gone for 37. And finally, we make the breakthrough. We're going to give Anderson the new ball. And see what he can do with Ben Stokes, who hasn't bowled a lot. Stokes into Bumrah. Gone. Excellent. He's out for one. First ball of Stokes's. Return and spell, and there's the five for. There's the five for for Jimmy Anderson. Excellent delivery. He's gone for a duck, and India three two six all out. Probably, you know, in the balance, you would say. Uh, after the start we made, we'd have liked to have, have kept them down a little bit lower. But uh, Jimmy Anderson five for seventy seven. You can't complain too much. So chasing three two six. Rory Burns and Dom Sibley. Let's see how they get on um, at the end of day one. Four more. And there we are at the end of day one. So 331 runs scored. Quite a lot, really. The big shout goes mm, up. Was that could be out. Say? Yeah, and Burns' as summer continues to crumble. Oh, that was very close. You know, we need to get off well, to a good start here. We know that there's definitely some something there for the, the, the ballers. Oh, lovely shot. Four runs. Four runs. Yeah, good shot. Is that Crawley doing a, a great job a this summer? Shout. Not out, and the umpire gives the bowler a curious look. Yeah, this is very nice. Fifty up already, and that's the thing. If we can stick in here, score another five hundred runs or so, like we did. In the first test match, but Crawley's gone. He's out for 33. Key man gone, you would say. And the lunch interval on day two arrives. Oh, and Root's gone as well. So straight away we've slipped to 64 for three. And Ben Stokes, I'm really hoping that your batting practice has come in good because we need you to counter-attack this innings now. And get us back on the front foot here. Dom Sibley doing what Dom Sibley does, just sticking in. Jeffrey boycotting it. 
And yeah, this is good stuff from Ben Stokes. This is exactly what you expect to see. And there's another boundary. Into the 30s now. That's so whether we just give him a half an hour spell wait and just try and take this game away from India a little bit. Because India are on top at the moment. He hasn't got hold of that. Well, edged, but he is safe. And there's another four. And there's his 50. 50 four. for Ben Stokes. Fantastic stuff. Now that's 50. Well played. And he deserves it. And, you know, he's got there a hell of a lot quicker than Sibley because Sibley's not even there Fine yet. Shot. There's another four. That looks like it's going to the boundary. Oh. Four rounds. I mean, this is very impressive from Ben Stokes. That's gone straight through him. T interval day two then. And we'll just reduce his aggression a little bit here. He will still go for his shots, but... And that's four. We're not forcing the issue this time. That's a confident appeal. No. Now, it would be kind of hilarious if... Uh, down well, I was going to say if catch. Stokes gets to his 100 before Sibley gets to his 50, and he may well do because Sibley's out for 46. So, excellent shot. Not in a great position now. But Stokes still going. We just need to rely on Ollie Pope finding a little bit of form here. Of course, we've still got Butler to come, Sam Curran to come, Archer to come, players that can throw the bat at it. That's four. Well, this has been exceptional from Ben Stokes, and what a sentry. And Ollie Pope now wants a bit of the action. Oh, what a shot! Six no runs! That one. That's gone all the way. Six. That was brilliant. Ball and short at Ollie Pope, and he was giving it the treatment. Ooh. Leg buys for four. That's a good looking shot. And that's a, a whack for four. Cracking stroke. And there's a good shot, and these two now starting to power on a little bit here. What an over this is. Excellent placement. 17, 18 off the over. And we've got half an hour left this evening. Why don't we go out there and force the issue? That's a beautiful shot. Four all the way. Get to 72 80 by the end of the evening. Four runs all the way. And all of a sudden, we are very much on top. Inside well, edge for four yelling. from Stokes. And this is what he needed. Fielder had no chance. You know, he'd had a. A very rough summer so far with the bat. As did Ollie Pope. What's the umpire going That's to gonna say? be out. What a shame. On his way. What a shame. Ben Stokes gone for 132. Great innings. But it is a shame and now Josh Butler comes to the crease and he's a man that needs a start this evening. Let's just survive. There's 50 for Ollie Pope, though. Single there, no problem. A round of applause goes up for the half century. And there you go, the end of day two. 274 for five. We are currently 52 runs behind India. Any sort of first innings lead would be good on this pitch. And that's four. Would probably vindicate this, the, the decision to, to ball first. Not textbook, but they all count. We've got a great chance to go 2 0 up in the series. Let's make sure we don't throw that away. That's a massive shot for LBW. We've still got Curran, we've still got Archer in this side, we've still got and these the two. Pads. And is it out? But the umpire says not out. Well... Yeah, I think that pitched outside. Oh, or hit very, outside very the line. This is going to be close. And it's out, I think. What a crazy is run. it? And the umpire said no. Not out. Well, 300 is up. And very, very fortunate there. Time to stick the 
the foot on the gas, I think. Good stuff. Good four. And again, exactly the same spot. And now Butler's in on the act as well. 13 off the over so far. Make that 17. Excellent over for us. 321 for 5. And surely very soon we're going to take the lead here. Well, oh, dropped. Well, dropped. And that was Ollie Pope on 66. Four runs. That's beaten him. Ooh, that went through the gate there. That's a beautiful ball. That was very, very close. Oh, what a shot. Pulled for four for Joss Butler. And he's having a stellar summer as well. This has to be Ooh, close. That was an absolute the mess from Ollie up. Pope. Maybe somebody with a bit more confidence would have played that a lot better. And it was going to miss the stumps. Wow, he was giving. But it was going to miss the stumps, so... That is a, a big pity. So Sam Curran comes out now, and I think we go full-on aggressive here. Well, that's the shot of a man in form. And that hit the ropes before the fielders could even blink. Because Curran Good ball. can do what Ben Stokes did. Well bowled. As can Butler. That one moved. Beautiful ball. Oh, three brilliant balls from Sharma. He's miscued that and one. And that's high in the air, but nobody's underneath it. That's going to be Straight four. For the bowler, but it's four. Not a great over if you just Butler. Big shout. And that could be out. Not out. Ooh. No point in glaring at the batsman. Well. Oh, what a decision. That one was closer than the. The one he did give out. There's four runs. I think. No, coming back for two. That's 50. Two for Joss Butler. But he's battled through to 50. Yeah, this is very nice. What a fine shot. There's another four. You can't set a field for poor bowling. He's edged it. Ooh, little inside edge. Could have went onto the stumps. Didn't. Yeah, now he's getting a bit of meat on the ball. Oh, there you go. That's Sam Curran at his best. Oh, lovely and shot. Full toss. Whacked away for four. Yeah, nice one. Played the spin beautifully. Could be heading towards the 400 shot. mark here. There's four. One of the oh, what a shame. Butler gone for 74. Joffre Archer now comes to the crease. Again, another player that can throw his bat at it. And there is the 400 up. Batsman cross, and that's a single. 400 up. Mm. Got to be happy with that. And towards a the first field. innings lead of about 100. Joffre Archer gone for three. That's a pity. Up it goes. And this could be out for Sam Curran as well. Safe and it man. is. And well, what a shame. What a shame. He's miscued and that. Chuck Leach miscued it, but got four. That one's out, though. He's out for six. And 410 all out then. Uh, ben Stokes, the highlight of the innings, 132. But a few nice little innings in there. 33 for Crawley, 46 for Sibley, 73 and 74 for Pulp and Butler, and 30 for Sam Curran at the end. Uh, looking very, very good. Uh, Ashwin, of course, is the one. That caused us the most issues, particularly at the end of the innings. Uh, five for 142, but not quite hitting James Anderson's uh, heady heights. But uh, here we go then. Day three, session one. We've still got 
a great chance to, to win this match. So here we go. James Anderson and Joffre Archer. Anderson into Gale and he gets the first wicket straight away. Jimmy Anderson. First ball for uh, Shubman Gill. And he's gone uh, for that first ball duck and lunch interval on day one. It's six for one. We still lead by 78. And remember, they are now setting us a target to chase. So the more early wickets we can get, the more pressure they are going to be under. Jack Leach is going to come on now. Haven't seen how Ashwin got on. Let's get Leachy in there. And that's high in the air. It's going to be caught. Out. And it is. Pujara gone for 25. Leach gets his first wicket of the innings. Anderson into Corley now. Really? That's a big wicket. Corley gone for eight. 54 for three here. India. And they will be starting to squirm a little bit. Leach into Sharma. And that's, and that's gone as well. Uh, Sharma gone for 34. And now big pressure. On India, they're four down. Appealing. That's going to slip down Watch leg out. side. Didn't really look convincing. <sighs> yeah. Unlucky there, Jack. Um, ben. But India now into the lead. Essentially 15 for four here. Leaching uh, Egerval. And that's... Oh, wow. A drop from Joss Butler. You don't often see that. How big a moment could that be in this match? Fabulous delivery. Yeah, Stokes bowling well, but not well enough to get the wickets. Leach into Pant now. That's Safe gone. About. Big wicket. Pant gone for 50. He is such a dangerous player, is uh, Rishabh Pant. Yeah, unfortunately, Curran not quite having the, the same impact as he has been. In the summer, Archer and Anderson coming in. Anderson to Rahani. That's gone. Last over of the day. And Anderson gets a wicket. End of day three then. 2 all 4 for 6. They do lead by 120. Archer and Ashwin. That's a big wicket. Ashwin gone for a duck. That is huge. Anderson into Patel now. We've got the, uh, the tail in now. And there it goes. Patel gone for six. Bumrah in now. Anderson into Bumrah. Ooh, that was close. That was close there. Oh, and it was out. It was out. Let's have another look at it. It was a thin little edge. Back to Butler. And well. there you go. He's gone. And now India under huge pressure. egerval has gone as well. That's a brilliant ball from Archer. That's out. Very good decision. India all out for 219. And Archer getting in on the action. And uh, what a second innings with the ball that was. Anderson 5 for 46. Uh, Archer 2 for 31. 3 for 76 for Jack Leach. Uh, but Jimmy Anderson, what a summer he is having. Uh, let's just have a little look at his uh, test match performances this year. Uh, 29 wickets at an average of 16 with three fivers and uh, one 10 wicket match so far which is the one we're playing. Uh, best figures of 5 for 46 which is just bold and uh, what a player. You know he's 39 years old and still very much uh, doing the business uh, and you, you just can't you, you know you can't say fairer than that. You really can't and yeah, Joffre Archer, yeah, having a decent summer, but uh, obviously the first match he's played, but he's played fairly decently. So Rory Burns and Dom Sibley, we are chasing 136 to win, and you know, we That's don't want cool. to attack it too hard, but we certainly don't want to put ourselves under pressure, and well, a couple of boundaries early on to uh, help ease the pain a little bit. Oh, what a catch. But there you go, Rory Burns gone. He's out for eleven. Beautifully. Timed. As I say, you know, if we get three or four wickets down, He's really we've all watched England enough ahead. to know that that is putting us under massive He's pressure. It, oh wow! Well, Crawley dropped, and you know it's a big early moment for India because they need early wickets if they are to, as I say, put us under that pressure. 
Oh, and that's cool. gone. Crawley out for 17. It's not a dead cert to chase this down. That's a good looking shot. Good shot from Joe Root and lunch into a long day for 52 for two. So, you know, not in a perfect position. You really got hold of that. That's a beautiful ball. Well, this is the thing. We're not tending to panic at this stage beautiful. of an innings. You know, we're two down. And we seem to be, at least one of them is stepping up to push us on. And, and that's what's looked good so far this summer for us. Oh. But Joe Root is gone, he's out for 22, and now Ben Stokes all of a sudden at the crease. And we're still 50 away here, which looks like a big distance. He's hit that with the spin. But four runs there for Sibley. Four runs there for Ben Stokes. Into the 90s now, when just about 40 to win. Nice four there. And another one. And that's really helped us. This looks close. Now we're now 31 away. Oh, what a shot from Sibley. The boundary for four. Clobbered that for four. Good stuff. Terrific drive off the back foot. Another Another four for Stokesy. Found the edge. Well, Stokes on 26. Can we No, we can't get him in the 50, there's no point just getting him out. There's four. It's a cracking stroke. Four all the way. And, well, these two have guided us home very, very nicely. That's a wonderful oh, what a shame. Stoke's gone for 35, so Ollie Pope comes to the crease. Would be nice for him to hit the, run and, the winning runs. And we do only need one to win. And Ollie Pope does hit the winning run. And we beat and India it. by six wickets in the second test match. It was a little bit closer than we would have liked towards the end there. But uh, I think our decision to bowl first very much vindicated. It was cloudy on that first day. Jimmy Anderson got it swinging. And that is exactly why uh, we managed to, to beat the Indians by six wickets. And James Anderson very rightfully gets man of the match. And there we are then. We are 2-0 up. In the test series against India, you've got to say we're in a very, very strong position to, to potentially uh, take this series. We only need to win one of the remaining three to win this series now. Uh, and you've got to say that is exactly the position we want to be. Couldn't be any better. We've got the next test match coming up in uh, Leeds, so it's Headingley. And I can't wait to get into that next episode. So if you have enjoyed that, give it a big thumbs up down below. Subscribe for more Critic Captain content. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.